B, and welcome to the Circle of Hecca. I'm Lady Amaris. Now, witches bottles. Used by witches for many, many, many years. And it's not just uh, something that you would find, say, in the, um, what's termed recently as the hoodoo tradition. Um, witches have been using um, and doing root work uh, for, for centuries um, and um, the hoodoo tradition takes on some of that root work as well as some of the stuff that, um, that witches don't do and it is kind of a kind of a blending um, of ideas but witches bottles have been found um, being dug up in, in many um, archaeological sites so it is something that it's used um, for protection by witches for millennia. So here's one type of witch's bottle. Now, if you have just a normal little bottle, now this is a, um, a bottle that I've gotten from the supermarket that was filled with, with herbs at one point, and um, once that's gone, I've just taken the, the wrapper off and, uh, and repurposed it. So you just need a small little bottle. Sometimes you can have baby food jars will work as well, but I find that these ones are a, a nice a nice size for, for what you want to do. Now you obviously want to cleanse inside the bottle. And there's some of the things that you might want to put in. So we've got juniper berries. And these are good for, for protection. Um, and they're also good for uh, for abundance because when it comes to your witch's bottle you want to make sure that you're protected but your um, your abundance isn't affected by anyone who may have uh, given you the evil eye or may just have um, a bit of jealousy in, uh, in in what you have and what you've got um, so twofold protection and abundance we also have our uh, wonderful little uh, chilies back again to uh, make it a little bit a little bit uncomfortable if they if they try to if any energies try to um, to invade your space uh, let's make it a little bit uncomfortable for it and um, repel it with some heat we also have some cloves these are wonderful so clove comes from the I think memory serves me comes from uh, the French which means um, nails so they look like little nails I'm not sure if you can see that they look like little nails um, and that's good because in a sympathetic way you want to um, use these as if they are piercing and um, and impaling any negative energy um, so that would be your little nails and also they are in themselves good for protection, um, stopping gossip, um, any kind of little greebly kind of bits of energy, um, it'll, uh, it'll get that. But the fact that they are like little nails, you can use them for stabbing, stabbing that energy. We also have our wonderful bit of sea salt. Now this is quite, quite good, it smells like the ocean. It's quite potent. You can see there our, our sea salt. It smells like it smells like the beach. Nice. Now salt obviously is about protection. It is a universal protection. Um, it is used for lining your your um, your circle, you can use it for lining your circle, lining your area to protect that, that area from um, unwanted energies, unwanted influences. So some other things that you can put into your witch's bottle is broken glass. Now be careful when you're doing uh, this sort of thing, you don't want to cut yourself um, with the broken glass. Um, that's, that's not really the, uh, the intent behind it. Now, um, the idea behind the broken glass would be, again, similar to using of, of nails, um, would be to, um, as a sharp implement, to, to stop and impale that energy, um, uh, not allowing it to, to enter the, the property or, or wherever it is. 
Now, um, again, with the correspondence, the green, use of the green glass um, can help with um, promoting abundance. Um, but it's also, the green is also the, the colour of the heart chakra. So you can see that you can have three ideas into one, impaling energy and repelling that energy, but also keeping the abundance in and also keeping that love, keeping that, uh, that bond that, that, um, that you would have in a family, so protecting your family. Now, so all of these are pretty easy to come by. You can, obviously broken glass is not that hard to come by, but some of these bits and pieces here, the juniper berries, the, uh, the cloves, you can buy those at a supermarket. And again, I've tried to keep it pretty uh, simple as to what ingredients that you can have, um, just so that um, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't hinder uh, people from trying to do things uh, on their own. Uh, if they don't have the, the opportunity or the funds to, to get some of the other more exotic things. Now we have pins, and again, pins can be used. The colour of the pin obviously will correspond to obviously your intent as well. Now if you're using black or dark pins, that's going to repel negative energy. Um, and again, say with these green pins, that is going to, um, is going to uh, attach itself and in, in a way impale prosperity and bring that into you into your uh, life as well. So it's a twofold thing with the witch's bottle. It is about protection, but when you're protecting and banishing things, you also want to bring things in. You don't want to just leave a void. So again, you can have the different colors. Oh, hopefully that you can see, we've got this little wheel of, wheel of pins that just have different colors on there. And you can get that from any sewing shop sewing shop or even in the supermarket again in uh, in certain sections you can get um, sewing implements and that's very easy for you to to use um, some other things they're a little maybe a little bit more exotic but not not too exotic we've got a little bit of dragon's blood now dragon's blood is used to uh, clear a space you can use it as incense but you can also use it to um, and to place into the bottle because the vibration of that incense for its the intent that it's used for will also help to give it a little bit of fire, give it a little bit of an oomph. Uh, but also, it is about that protection as well. All right. Let's put that back in. Now. A few more exotic things that you can put into your witch's bottle um, would be if you have, say, uh, some sulfur. Some sulfur, you can put that in. Um, sulfur is obviously used to uh, repel and, and is for protection. Um, uh, you can also use um, as. I'm going to I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of this, but you can use as asafoetida powder. Now it's also known as devil's dung. Um, it smells like ass. Okay, so you don't really want to get it on you. You don't really want to have it in your nose. It's going to take a while to get that smell out. So just be quite sparing with it. A little bit of all of these things goes a long way. You don't need to heap a whole container load of things into your bottle okay so a little bit goes a long way this smells disgusting but it is for repelling negative energy it's used in exorcisms it is for want of a better word the shit um, and uh, yeah if you can get hold of it and you can stand the smell good to use um, a couple of other things um, graveyard dirt Okay, now I uh, got this from um, the grave of uh, one of my uh, relatives and um, it is used for protection. It is the, the protection of the family. The family come and protect you, the, your ancestors, the, the spirits of your family. Um, now, a little bit of a bit of a, a, bit of a caveat with, with collecting and using graveyard dirt. Uh, one, make sure that you're respectful when you go in. Don't um, don't take the the uh, the dirt of anyone. You must first ask, always ask, and be prepared for a no. 
Um, don't just grab the, the dirt of anyone. Make sure that you have some kind of connection. You've afforded some, uh, some kind of connection and you've, you've built up a bond because this is a sympathetic connection to your ancestors. And if you're using this in your protection spells or, or any spells whatsoever, um, you need to have that, uh, that, bond, uh, that bond connection. Be respectful when you when you gather, and and also do some research before you just blindly bolt into to some kind of graveyard and start collecting dirt willy nilly. Have a little bit of respect. Do some research, and always leave an offering. Always leave something in return. Now, um, if you're if you're in the hoodoo tradition, you always leave some pennies, or you can leave maybe a, a nice stone, you can leave some food, you can leave some flowers, it's up to you, but you always must leave something in return. Um, and again, be respectful when you, when you gather this, and um, be prepared for a no answer, make sure you ask. Okay, so graveyard dirt can be used, and again, a little bit goes a long way. You don't need to heap it all in, okay? Some other little things, a little bit exotic, but I'm sure everyone has some. Um, urine. Now, <laughs> this is not my urine, okay? If this was, then I should be going to the doctor quick smart. This is just a little bit of the, um, if you had watched my previous video, um, depending on when I when I put them together. This is some of the red wine vinegar that I poured out of the bottle so that I could place my other bits and pieces in. Um, and it's used just as an illustration for urine. Um, so you would have your urine. And I would also suggest if you are, are using this bottle to protect other people that are also residing in the residence, I would say that you would ask them um, politely if you could have some of their urine as well and, and place that in the bottle. What it that does is it's a form of um, marking your territory. This is my place. This is my area. Just go away. Okay, just to be polite, go away. So you're marking your territory. Now you can also use um, your blood. That's a little bit more like um, going that extra mile, if that's what you want to um, say. Um, so having the blood there would forge that connection as well. It would be an even stronger, stronger bond with the with the area, saying "go away." And um, for women, using your menstrual blood again, very potent if that's the way you want to go as well. Um, and especially if you have children and family within the home, uh, because um, what is that um, a variation of the saying, hell hath no fury like a woman protecting her, protecting her young, protecting her children. So you think of that energy, that motherly energy, that I will protect you and I will I will do some really bad things to you if you, if you hurt my family energy. Um, that motherly energy that will go above and beyond and um, will kill herself to protect her family energy. So there are a few things. You can also put nails. Um, you can also have um, um, other, other bits and pieces um, that you can think of that other correspondences. So make it uh, something that is personalized and, and yours. Uh, don't just follow the things that I've put in there um, or given you suggestions for. Um, it's yours, it's about your protection. So things that mean something to you, the, the correspondences that mean something to you is going to, to make this more a potent bottle. So you place all of those things in, you pour the urine in, you've marked your territory, you uh, put the lid on. Now some people like to put some wax around um, just to seal the bottle. Um, you can also put some, um, like some black duct tape to seal the bottle. I don't think it's that necessary. Um, the bottle is sealed. 
um, that's fine. Um, now the next thing you do is you would bury it and you would bury it as close to your front door as you can or as close to the, the very front of the, the, the property if you want to use that as a, um, say you have cars that you, you park in front of your door. You want to make sure that all of that area is protected. So you would bury that in, um, in the ground um, to, uh, to seal that protection. Um, you can also you know, mix it up a little bit and put some protection sigils on the cap and even to the point where you can write some kind of protection spell if that's how you want to go around the side here on in some kind of um, um, marker. That will just uh, just help help it along, um, and uh, yeah, that's your protection bottle. Hope you enjoyed that. Blessed be. I'm Lady Amaris. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Blessed be. Send that beautiful energy up into the heavens. It's another very powerful cleansing incense that's often used by witches is dragon's blood. Dragon's blood, when it goes onto the chakra,